Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheets tutorial in Practical Sheets. Today we're going to learn how to do drop downs, but from another worksheet. In many occasions, I'm going to need to bring drop downs from another sheet. However, and unfortunately, Sheets doesn't have an easy or direct way of doing it. There are two ways of doing it, which we're going to explore today. One with the help of a formula and an auxiliary table and the other one without needing anything but using a bit of Google Apps script, not that much. So I know you're going to love it, but before we begin, let me invite you to subscribe to the channel or if you want to download the template immediately, you can go to the Patreon page and support me there. Thank you so much, particularly to my students. And now let's begin. I've created two different sheet files with sheet.new. I haven't done anything to them. In the first one, we're going to have the table that I'm going to put as a drop down. So let's say I'm interested in styles of music. And here I'm going to have a table where I'm going to classify music bands depending on their style of music. So band and here I'm going to put style and but I will always have my styles in this other sheet that I'm going to call styles and this other one I'm going to call bands. So I want my drop down to always bring the styles from here. So the first bad news is that I cannot do it directly. I need to always operate indirectly with an import range or a code from Google Apps Script. So let's first do it with the import range. So what I'm going to do is go back to my bands. I'm going to bring somehow these styles of music, maybe here or maybe even in another sheet, I'm going to call auxiliary or aux. And here I'm going to, the, the first option will be to copy it, control, C and then control V. However, if this is going to change and tomorrow I'm going to have two or three or four different styles of music or something has changed, then I would have to do it manually copying and paste. And this is not the idea. So what I can do is I'm going to delete this. I'm going to use a function called import range. Import range basically imports the table from another file. So the first thing I'm going to need is the address or the URL of my sheet. I'm going to put it inside quotation marks. And a nice tip is that actually I don't need all of the URL. I only need this code. It's an alphanumeric code that goes after this D slash and ends before this slash edit. So I can delete all of this, delete all of this and then close the quotation marks, comma, and then I need the range I'm going to use. So for this, I need the name of the sheet and the range. So let's say my range will be A1 up to A, let's say. I'm going to copy this. And here I can do it two ways. Given that here I don't have, I only have one sheet, then I could just paste the range and it will work. The first time I call an input range, it will bring me an error because I need to connect the spreadsheets. Then I will give it allow access. This will be this will prove more complicated if this sheet is not yours. If it from another user, then you'll need to ask that user to have for the permission. Okay. Now I already have my input range, so I could have my band. And we're going to do a drop down, maybe with add drop down. And I'm going to say that the criteria is drop down from a range. And I'm going to click in this box that lets me choose the range. I'll click inside this box, this blue box. Then I go to the auxiliary starting A2 and we'll go up to maybe without an end up to the last row that I have so I can input or I could enter illimited or 100 or 200 or 300 styles of music. Then I'll hit OK and done. 
and here now I have my style this will be rock and if then I put something else actually I need to increase the range to be applied so I'm going to take this up to the last row to B and here I could put pop and if let's say for example I include a genre I don't have I need R&B so I'm going to my styles I'm going to put R&B here and then if I go to my bands I already have R&B because the import range communicates immediately updates immediately when I change the style sheet so I won't need anything else okay so we could end the video here however not all of you love the idea of having an auxiliary sheet I think this is the best option almost every time however I'm going to try to do with Google App Script, do it in a way that I don't need my auxiliary. So let's create a new sheet. Again, I'm going to put band and style. And what I want to do is to create my data validation every time I open my file. So I know that every time I open it, it will be updated. And I could even update it every five minutes, every hour, or every time I change something in my sheet. Maybe that's exaggerated, but I could do it in several ways. So let's go to our app script. We're going to call this drop down from another sheet, from another file, or from another spreadsheet. So the first thing I'm, I need will be the list of my styles. So I need to connect with this styles sheet. Remember, I already copied the URL and the ID. This will work for what I need to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Spreadsheet app and use this open by ID or open by URL, whichever you prefer. I prefer open by ID because it's shorter. So I'm going to put again my quotation marks and I'm going to paste this. And again, I'm just going, I'm going to remove all the HTTPS up until the slash. And then I'm going to remove all of the slash up to the zero. And this I'm going to call it styles book or origin sheet, whatever. Origin worksheet, because this is where I'm going to bring my data. Now I'm going to connect with this sheet that I could call it however I want. So origin spreadsheet and it will be origin worksheet dot get sheet by name. And my name in this case is sheet one. Finally, I'm going to bring all the data I find. So this will be let origin data and I will call from my origin SS object I will call the method get data range in this case it's easier to do the data range because I only have one column the get data range starts at a1 and goes up until the last data it finds so I don't need to use any get last row or anything like that so the only thing I need to remove is the first row after the get data range, I could do this get values. And now I have an array and an array. I could do a lot of operations to it. So what I'm going to do first is do this shift to remove the header. And then what I'm going to do is to convert this array into a list, not to get too technical. I mentioned it in a lot of videos. The ranges, when I get a range from Google Sheet, it is an array of arrays, but what I need is a simple list that I could then inject to my dropdown here in bands. So what I'm going to do is to my origin data, I'm going to apply this map method. What it does is to convert an array into whatever I want. So I'm going to convert an array of arrays into a simple array. I'm sorry if this sounds too cryptic, if you're not familiar with arrays, you can just copy the line and it will make it easier. So I'm going to go row by row. This is what the map does. It goes 
through each row or through each element of the array and does something to it. And what I'm going to do is just extract the data it has. Again, it's going from an array that's like this, zero, one, whatever, and transform it into this. It's just removing these brackets. This is what it's doing, okay? And I'm going to put it in another variable that I could call style list. You could call it whatever you want. It could be the list or the style array, if you prefer. Style array. Styles array. This is what I will then put into my data validation. So now what I need is to create a data validation. For this, I will go to spreadsheet app dot new data validation. I will choose which data validation I need and I only need this required value in list. For dropdowns, I could use any of these of both required value in list, required value in range. When I do require value in range, I mandatorily need to have a range like we did here. I need a range, a physical range in my sheet. However, in this case, I don't have it. I just have a list that I bring from other side. This is why the require value in range won't do. I need require value in list, okay? And I have to put the list I did. That is this styles array. And finally, I'm going to use this build method to build my data validation and I could store it in a variable called data validation. Finally, I need to apply this data validation to something. I'm going to apply it to this sheet three that I'm going to call it drop down with gas with Google Apps Script. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to apply it from B2 up to the last I find. So here I had my origin double uh, work sheet and my origin spreadsheet. Now I need my destiny worksheet and my destiny spreadsheet. So destiny worksheet will be the one I mean right now. So uh, it's as easy as spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet. Then my destiny spreadsheet is inside my destiny worksheet, I will call sheet by name, get sheet by name. And the name was drop down with gas. Finally, I'm going to go to a specific range. In this case is B2 up to B. So let destiny range will be destiny spreadsheet dot get range. The range is B2 column B. And finally, to that range, I'm going to apply a data validation here, set data validation. And the data validation will be this one. And that's it. I think it should work. Let's see. Let's call this drop down from another sheet. Let's run. I need the permissions because I'm connecting to another sheet, to another worksheet. Let's see, I have a problem here. Okay, I don't need this to be a variable. For some reason, the name didn't didn't stick this dropdown with gas, so it, ha it is not finding a sheet called dropdown by, uh, with gas. I don't know why. Let's test it again. And now here, I have my styles. And if I change any of style, let's change this for rap or hip hop. And I run it again. And there it is. So what I could do is to, again, I told you at the beginning that you could execute this in a number of ways. I'm just going to leave one here and then you can ask me in the comments or you can experiment with other ways of executing it. But for now, I'm just going to execute it with an open function. This is what is called a simple trigger. So I'm just going to copy the name of my function, paste it here. I'm going to save just to try it out. Let's put another style of music or actually I'm going to remove some styles of music. 
I'm going to update my file. Let's give it a couple of seconds. You can see here that it's thinking. In theory, this should work. However, it won't work. And I'll tell you why. If I go to executions, you'll see that it failed. Why? It says you do not have permission to call spreadsheet.openById. The simple triggers are a really nice thing. However, the simple triggers have some limitations. One of them is that they cannot call external services. In this case, we need an external services service when we're going to connect with another sheet. So this is why a simple trigger won't do. So what I'm going to do is remove this trigger, go, well, let's save. Let's go to this trigger section and I'm going to create a manual trigger or what is called by Google Apps Script installable trigger. I only have one function, so I'm going to choose this one. And here in the select event type, I'm going to choose unopened. Then I'm going to save. It may ask me for permissions. And now I'm going to refresh my sheet once again. Let's give it a couple of seconds. And here it is. OK, so each time reopen or refresh my sheet, it will automatically bring the drop down from here. And I wouldn't need this auxiliary sheet as we did at the beginning of the video. So I hope you liked it. I know it may be useful. And if you like it and you find it useful, you may subscribe to the YouTube channel where each week I have a new video of Google Sheets, Google Apps Script, or Google Forms. And even better, if you want to support me or you want to download these templates, you can go to the Patreon page where you can download them and ask me any questions about them. See you next time. Thank you so much.